so I've been purging my kitchen and so far I'm not even done and I already have three full trash bags plus some other stuff that I need to throw out and I still have like one two three more drawers to go through so this is what the shelves look like for now very minimal I really want new like plates and bowls and cups and stuff or mugs but again you know it's just something that I kind of want to wait till we move to buy because it'll probably break and stuff like all that stuff is too fragile so yeah this is just stuff that I had before I just cleaned it up a bit and added some things that I had like around the house and stuff like this I didn't have a place for it so I just put it there and yeah it just looks a lot more simple now which I love some stuff from Farfetch and I'm really excited so I'm gonna uh, unbox them for you guys this is not sponsored but they were kind enough to send me these things so I've talked about Farfetch before I shop from there all the time even if I'm not shopping I go on there to see or discover a bunch of emerging designers another thing that I really love about them is that they do such a good job at having things in stock like if i see something that i like on another website and it's out of stock i usually go right after and check on farfetch to see if it's in stock and like nine times out of ten it is so i really 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 love that so i do have a discount code for you guys it's jamari 10 yt i'll put it on the screen and i'll put it in the description along with the links where you can shop to these things and all of the information about Farfetch, so be sure to check that out so i think that the reason why they're so good with their stock situation and they always have things available is because they house a bunch of different boutiques so these three things came from different destinations and different boutiques so the first piece that i got is this little top which i've been very into this sort of like lettuce stitching it's a turtleneck, but it's a very, very light material, so it's perfect for me since I live in a hotter climate. And it has this sort of like lettuce stitching in this really pretty green. So the reason that I rarely purchase colors is because I'm really picky with the shades. But this is the most beautiful, like muted kiwi green. And the stitching is like a cream color. This brand is called Basser Range or Baser Range. And I discovered them through Farfetch. I went on their socials and I'm obsessed with everything. And these are the Jackamoos Sierra Strapped Cycling Shorts. So I've been talking about the whole knee length trend that I'm really loving. I got these little guys. And they're just like knee length cycling shorts they're knit material so perfect for fall and winter to like pair with a blazer or something or with the matching bralette and like a button down i don't know i have to style it and it comes with little straps and they are adjustable because we all know that if they weren't they probably would make my legs look like stuffed sausages super cute so this is the nanushka ruched shoulder bag I believe they have this in a couple of colors. Anushka. I've never owned anything from them, but I really, really love all of their designs. And it's just this little shoulder bag. And I think that this is such a cute color 
for fall. Like I, I dress very dark during the fall, so I want to add little pops of like brighter colors. That's why I got that green top. And I love how like it's so easy to open and stuff. So it looks like this. And it's so soft too. So yeah, I just think it's so cool how everything just comes from different boutiques and they just get things from wherever it's in stock. So yeah, the first shirt, this one came from the Netherlands from Brown's Fashion. The Jacquemus shorts came from Germany from Emerson Rinaldi. And the last one came from Monier Ferres Entrepot. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but from France. So love how they just grab everything from wherever it's in stock and they make the whole process easy for you. So love, love, love that. It's like if they're a personal shopper. So again, my discount code is jamari10yt. I'll put it somewhere on the screen as well as the description. I'll put links to everything that I mentioned in this video as always in the description, so be sure to check it out. here like that much like right above my boobs I can't go any shorter because it shrinks too much <laughs> favorite length I think but it only lasts like two weeks because my hair grows so freaking fast I could have honestly gone shorter but it's fine so I just bought him a new collar that comes with a ball and I asked him where his ball is where is it good boy bring me it gimme I got some stuff from Aritzia. I heard that they have really good socks, so I got a bunch of socks. I really want to just throw out my entire sock drawer because it sucks. These are the Logo Crew, and it's a three pack. I got them in black and in white. These, which are a little shorter, these are the base ankle socks. It's also a three pack. The white one of those are back ordered. So they're coming later. I got regular white socks. These are also ankle length, but they're like a little fancier. They're by Wilfred and they're the only ankle sock. And another just regular black pair. And I got two tanks. This is the Babaton Contour. I got a black one, which is just like a little cropped tank. And I got one in white. That is all from Aritzia. So I'm wearing one of the tanks that I got from Aritzia. Really like this. If you guys hate having to wear a bra with white tanks or if you think that your little pasties, if you wear pasties, can kind of show through white tanks, this one doesn't. I'm not wearing a bra and you can't really see anything. These pants are by gold sign. They're jeans, Hermes sandals, and my vintage button down and bag is by Osoy. That's it. Okay. 
So I got some new Gymshark and I just want to show you because it's my first time ever trying them. I know, I know. The reason I purchased from them was for their longer shorts because I love Set Active but their shorts are a little short so they rolled up. Uh, so I wanted to try these. This is like their new animal print and another reason why I wanted to buy from them is because I like these little cropped long sleeves. So yeah. I like this. It's weird because I tried a different color before this and it fit a little bit tighter. I'll show you guys. I got this top which matches. It's like the same little print. I think this is called like animal print or something. I don't know. So this is the matching top and I do size up on these kinds of sports bras because linebacker shoulders so I always have to size up. So the bottoms are mediums, and this is a large. So yeah, I like the fit of these better than the gray ones that I just tried. I'll show you the gray ones. They're so much tighter for some reason. But these fit more comfortably. Maybe they have to stretch out, I don't know. But yeah. Okay, here's the gray. I feel like it's a tiny bit tighter than the black ones. I feel like because of the print, it's one of those prints that kind of makes everything a little tighter. So maybe by just stretching, it'll give a little bit, which I feel like it's already given since the first time I tried it on. But it is definitely a little bit tighter. I don't know, I always feel like black is so much more flattering, but it's fine. So yeah, I'm a little bloated. I'm supposed to get my period today, so they were sold out of this color top. So that's why I could only get the bottoms, but it's fine. So yeah, I like it. I want to get more of the cropped long sleeves because I don't have any of those in my collection. And I've been searching for something similar to that for a really long time. So I want to get a white one to match with these bottoms. And I think that's good, just white and black should should work i don't need any more workout gear i really don't but i really wanted to try gym shark and see what all of the years and years and years of hype is about <music> Currently, just having my regular coffee, the Chameleon Espresso coffee, with a splash of Oatly, but I got the fat-free one, so I don't know if that makes much of a difference. I'm sure that the regular one is probably creamier and tastes a lot better. I feel like I have to drink it a little bit more to see how I feel about it, but I do like it. So something that I just noticed as I was doing my makeup is that I recently switched to the Quip toothpaste because I have that toothbrush and I just got like the little bundle but I ran out of it so I went back to the old toothpaste that I was using this is like riveting I know this is just such interesting information that you get here on my channel I'm aware uh, so I went back to the old just Colgate total whitening one and I noticed that my lips are getting like flaky again which is something that I struggled with for a long time and recently I was like, I wonder why my lips are like so moisturized lately. Like they're not as flaky and like as cracked as they usually are. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the toothpaste. So I do think that somebody had told me this once that whitening toothpaste can dry out your lips or cause like flaky lips and stuff. The reason I'm telling you this is that if you're somebody that does use like whitening toothpaste, I don't know if it's just the whitening toothpastes, but this doesn't happen to me when I use like toothpastes that are for sensitivity. So yeah, if you struggle with that, try to use something either more natural or that is targeted for like sensitive teeth or gums or whatever so yeah going to finish oh another thing i wanted to let you guys know is that i've been doing my mascara before doing my faux wing you guys know or those of you that have been here for a while you know that 
I don't switch my makeup routine. Like, I always do my wing with black eyeshadow and I just kind of like smoke it out a little bit. Well, I've been putting my mascara on before and I've only been concentrating it in the outer perimeter of my eye. Like, I don't go on top. I just keep it like at the end and it kind of like doesn't close my eyes as much as when I bring it to the top. So yeah, little tip. So for today's outfit, I'm wearing this little dress by Outdoor Voices, which I just got in the mail and I threw on because it's the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my body. Yeah, if you're not a dress person and you've never found anything that works, try this one it has shorts that come attached to it and it's super comfortable this bag is by Pollen paris and just my asic sneakers watch is breda you can see it and earrings are love aj he knows i'm leaving and he gets on edge it's really comfortable if you don't like things like sticking to you. Love it. Ooh.